I'm here to press towards advancing a diplomatic solution to the end of the cross-border hostilities between Israel and Lebanon. The United States remains committed to advancing lasting security solutions achieved through a diplomatic process. That will allow Lebanese residents to safely return to their homes, as well as allowing Israelis to return to their homes safely in northern Israel. And we thank the Lebanese government and the people of Lebanon for their partnership in this critical endeavor. Escalation will not help the Lebanese and Israeli people return home. Escalation will not resolve this crisis. And escalation will certainly not help Lebanon rebuild and advance forward at this critical time in Lebanon's history. But a temporary ceasefire is not enough. Unlimited war is not containable. And the security paradigm along the blue line has to change in order to guarantee everyone's security. The United States believes a diplomatic solution is the only way to end the current hostilities along the blue line that will achieve a lasting, fair security arrangement between Lebanon and Israel. The people of Lebanon and Israel have the right to live in peace and prosperity. Do you guarantee that the truth will also extend to the south of Lebanon? Do you Are working tirelessly to be able to get a, uh, a ceasefire deal in Gaza together with uh, the hostage release. That is what um, we have been saying consistently. Uh, there is a deal on the table and I hope that the parties accept it. But it doesn't, it is, it does not necessarily happen that when you have a ceasefire in Gaza it just automatically extends. That is why we're here today to be able to have a conversation and discussion on what the kind of arrangements that could be reached here in Lebanon. It is not an automatic. So we have to ensure what we want to see is a diplomatic solution here on the border, on the, along the blue line. 